Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Okay, I think this is the last member of Blackpink and it's Jenny. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me to read her as well. So, um, when I think about Jenny, I get someone who's determined. And she's not a wilting flower in any way. You look, like I'm comparing the girls, so you look at someone like Jisoo who's like the lady. She's calm. She's laid back. She waits for the questions to come. She waits for her turn. But you look at someone like Jenny and she's like there. She's out there. I think that, uh, like I don't know who that, like I feel that Jisoo is like um, the one that is like RM in BTS. She looks, she's kind of like the mother, you know, she's the one who kind of takes control when the things are kind of getting out of control. Not that it does very often, but I feel she's the responsible one. Then you look at someone like Lisa. Lisa's the um, giggly, you know, like she likes to have fun. She's the fun loving one. Then you look at uh, Jenny. Jenny is the one that she's hard on herself. She's really quite hard on herself. She wants perfection. She um, demands perfection from her herself. So when she fails herself, I feel like she can throw a pout. Or she, like, she's the one, like, I'm not saying she would do this, but she was the one that would kind of, like, throw her phone against the wall. Or she would, um, you just can tell with Jenny when she's not happy. You know, when she's not pleased, where... Some of the other girls can hide it when they're not happy about something. But Jenny, I feel, is a little bit more, she wears her emotions, her heart on her sleeve. So you can tell when that girl's not happy. She will let you know. She's not going to sit back um, and put up with whatever. So I feel that um, she's somewhat a perfectionist when she can't live up to her own expectations um, I feel she can throw a fit. Um, and and I don't think she's, it's not like a spoiled brat sort of a fit, but there's just no hiding it with Jenny. You know, um, she's not, she's going to tell you if she doesn't like something. Of all the girls, I feel this is, th this is what I feel with her. Um... A lot of people want me to do readings between her and the other girls, you know, like how she feels about the other girls and so forth. So, I mean, I can kind of throw that into this reading. Like, I feel that her and, um, like her and Lisa, I feel would get along the best because I both feel there's a certain attitude. Whereas Rosé and, um, Rosé and Jisoo are the same. They're a little bit more laid back. Um, I feel she's closest with Lisa because mm, I think that her and Jisoo are totally like different personalities. They all get along. They really do. There's no issues here with them not getting along. It's just some people get along better with others. So I feel like they all get along. It's just that I feel that her and Lisa get along kind of like the best. Um, they are of the same nature, like the same sort of a person. See, like I see Rosé and Jisoo getting along the best. Those two are a little bit more quieter. So... But, I, again, I, I just feel Lisa and Jenny are the same type. Maybe they're like oil and water. I don't know. Sometimes you got two people that are alike. Um, it's a little bit too much. I guess they're just, I just feel like they're the most alike. Jenny and um, Lisa. Now, as far as, I did a reading on Jenny and Kai. Now, I don't know if they're together or not. I don't know if this is a crack ship or whatever the case is. But I do feel they have a relationship. Um, Jenny's difficult. I'm not saying Jenny's out for herself, but Jenny looks after number one. 
and there's nothing wrong with that. But because career is the most important thing for her, this is what she's focusing on. So outside of her career, I don't really feel she has huge relationships. You know, I feel that she does have one with Kai. She still does. I think it's there, but it's very, very quiet. And it's um, kept quite hush-hush, you know, as these, these ships, these shippings are or whatever. But I do feel that these two are connected. In what way? I don't know. I believe, like, Kai is very... Always looks forward to seeing her, to be with her, to talk to her. This guy loves her. He does. I think Jenny knows it. So I don't feel she gives it the same sort of um, attention that he would like her to give. But I think he understands to a certain degree that um, career is important. And that she should focus on whatever, right? So it feels like, you know, there's the group and then, you know, there's other things. And then Kai is kind of like down here. But I feel she's, she's, there's, there's a spark there between them. There's some, I feel there's, there is a relationship here between the two of them. Okay. All right. Um, I hope I got Jenny right. I didn't look up any info. I know some people are saying, well, she didn't look up any info. Why would I want it? Why would I want to do any research on anybody that I'm going to do a reading on? I don't want to do that because then it's going to give me a slanted view. I'd rather do a reading on somebody that I don't know anything about. Sometimes I'll look it up on the fly as I'm doing the reading. It's like, okay, I'm going to see what Jenny's birthday is, you know, and go from there. Okay. So I'm going to give the cards a shuffle and see what comes up. What are the messages regarding Jenny? What are the messages regarding Jenny? What are the messages regarding Jenny from Blackpink? Jenny from Blackpink. What are the messages from, regarding Jenny from Blackpink? Jenny, if she's not happy, people will know. She is not a wilting petal on a flower. She's not happy, you'll know it. I'm not saying she's disruptive, but out of all the girls, I just feel that she would not be happy. She's If, if she's not happy, people know. She can be a little bit abrupt. And she can be a little bit more abrasive. Like when I think of Jisoo, I feel she is so much more laid back. But I feel Jenny is more, she's got, I wonder if she's an Aries. I'm just, okay, I'm going to look her birthday up. So don't give me heck for not doing my research. What are the messages regarding Jenny? All right, here I go. I'm going to take a look here. My internet's slow. I don't know why. I want a birth date. Jenny with black, pink birth date. Oops. Hold on here. 
Jenny, black, pink, birthday. Why? Oh, because I'm at videos, that's why. Oh my God, January 16th. So she is a Capricorn. There's a lot, of, they're all, there's a lot of Cap, a lot of them are Capricorns, hey? Jisoo is January 3rd. Rosé is February the 11th. Rosé is an Aquarius. So we got two girls here that are born in January and a few of the BTS members, I believe, are January as well. So because here she is. Okay, she is the queen of pentacles. She is a resourceful woman. She's got all kinds of skills. Money is, she's got the money in her hands. So she has love for what she does. Now, I asked energies, I, I messages regarding her, the energies regarding her, her. We have the six of pentacles. And this is about giving and receiving and it's generosity and it's trying to keep the balance. I feel she has a good balance here in her relationships and with the, the girl band. And then we have the king of cups, even though like, okay, let's look up Kai. Kai. BTS. I don't think he's, I don't think he's a water sign. Birthday. January 14th. He's also a Capricorn, hey? What I say she was, he's January 14th. She is January 16th. So they're both Capricorns. So um, this here could be also somebody who's uh, very tolerant and empathetic. I don't know if she's tolerant. I don't think she's, I don't think she's very tolerant. I'm going to get another definition of this card here. Uh, okay, so apply to a situation. Take a balanced view in order to heal a dispute. Also reassure, be reassured that you can manage your emotions when the pressure is on. Now this is um, somebody who's charismatic, sensitive to others, but his inability to, to deal with his own strong feeling, own strong emotions means they can be distant. So she could be somewhat distant with her emotions and feelings. I don't feel she gets lets a lot of people in. She'll show you when she's not happy. Okay? But she doesn't tell you how she feels. Like hurt or upset or anything like that. All right. What are the future messages for Jenny? For the future messages for Jenny from BTS. Future messages for Jenny from BTS. Okay, so what are the future messages? We have the Knight of Coins, and this is a passionate person that likes to travel. They're very creative. They're very free-spirited. They come for what they want. Like you can see, this this horse is coming straight at you. He, This person knows what they want. So she's going for what she wants. Now we have... Um, the Four of Wands. So this is future messages. This is celebrations. It's family. It's friends. It's a great, great circle of support. Um, so great foundation. I believe she has a great foundation of, of family and support. And what are the future messages? There's the Eight of Pentacles. This is mastering something. She's got her eye again on the coin. She's polishing it up. And she is um, ready to hang that last coin up. You know, she's very diligent at what she did. She, she works hard and she does not take her eye off the coin. It's not about money, but it's about her career. You know, that kind of a thing. Let's see what messages are regarding her and Kai. What are the messages regarding Kai and Jenny? 
Hi and Jenny. What are the messages regarding Kai and Jenny? Okay, so Kai and Jenny. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, and this card is about luxury, self-sufficiency, it's solo pleasures. So the two of them are earning their own money. I feel that they're apart more than they are together. They both earn money on their own. Um, this is about earning it on your own. So this is solo. So even though I feel that they are together, this, this is they work separate. What do you, what messages are between the two of them? Here we have the Queen of Wands. She's a feisty woman. She's self-assured. She's confident. She's the master of her own domain. She does what she wants, when she wants. Kai can't keep her, hold her back, you know? And then we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles is um, someone who's patient, kind. There's more money news coming with them or um, a job, work, work. I think work is really keeping both of them busy. Okay, there you go. That's the reading on Jenny from Blackpink. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. So all the Blackpink girls are done now. I believe so. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. If anybody would like to purchase a private reading from me, my email will be at the bottom of the, of the video and you can email me anytime. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. All right. Thanks for watching, subscribing. You guys can go ahead and share these videos. You can like, you can comment, whatever you want to do. I hope you guys like it. Okay. Thanks again. Bye-bye.